Today, we're gonna to talk about how I charge my 1S LiPos. Uh, believe me when I say I have a lot. Um, buy a lot. It's just this is one of my boxes. Just a, just a fraction of what I have. Anyways, one of the uh, ways of uh, charging uh, 1S LiPos is uh, using a parallel charge board. And I got this one from Newbie Drone that does 12 at a time. Convenient, but uh, only problem is when you charge these 1S light posts in parallel, they should be at least uh, one volt within each other, or else uh, bad things will happen. Um, so I decided to do or use a way where you can use a serial charging cable. And if I can find it, I tried making one of my own. And uh, I think the wiring I found online and I tried to do it using these are pigtails from light controllers that I don't don't and I'm not using. And uh, let me tell you this this is pretty pretty ugly. But uh, conveniently Amazon has these for sale and I end up buying one from them. And uh, it's convenient. You can charge six one S light posts at a time. The uh, voltage between each other shouldn't really doesn't matter, uh, but not always. I don't always have six to charge at a time. So again, I found this information online. Uh, there is a way of setting it up so that you can charge two, three, four, five light posts at one time using this 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 cable. And uh, I'll tell you right now, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, disclaimer though, uh, I'm not. Don't hold me accountable for anything that bad happens if you do it this way or any any information I give you on on this video. But uh, the way I do it or the way you can do it is these PH 2.0 connectors. You just uh, bridge the ends together and just heat shrink the ends and then you just you can pretty much plug in your LiPo and figure out which which cable goes into what. Uh, let me show you with what I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the old school. You drone 250 mob, one is light pose. So if I plug this in, let's just take these all out give you an example of what it looks like. like I've, I've numbered each each one that I figured out so in see that one shows up look at number two see it'll show up just mark it mark mark it down and then if I plug number three it'll pop up there so just again mark it down and then once you figure that all out so let's say you want to charge three of these. So what you do is you take these the connectors with the bridged ends and you fill in the ones that you're not being used. So number six, not using that. Number five, not using that. Number four, not using that. Which now makes this a 3S in series charging cable. And just plug your lipos in. Now you got your lipos ready to charge. And most chargers these days will, you know, will know what, what you got plugged in. These are high voltage and because you're charging in series, you do not have to, uh, you can just uh, set it to the maw that you have on here. So this is a 250 maw. I can just round it up to 0.3 amps and charge and that's it. And it should charge and it'll balance and you don't have to worry about if there's like, these numbers are way off. 
So that is super convenient. I also use this uh, method for discharging. Um, and I just recently converted, bought another harness and converted this to BT 2.0, which is what I mostly fly now. And again, same thing with the, the plugs that you plug in. I just bridge, bridge the ends on here and, and that's it. So that should save you a lot of time of charging, discharging a bunch of lipos. You don't have to worry about each of them having to be one, uh, one volt within each other. Hopefully that information is of use. Please like, comment, let me know your feedback and happy flying.